Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. The majesty of this great god taketh up his abode in the hall of Osiris, and the majesty of this god addresseth words to the hall of the gods who dwell therein. This god performeth all the rites proper for entering this hall, and he advanceth on his way against Apep by means of the words of power of Isis, and by means of the words of power of the sovereign god. The name of the gate of this city where through passes this god is Rudiasar. The name of this city is Thephetsheta. The name of the hour of the night, which guideth this great god into it is Keftahesketnehara. Behind the god stand Herahikin, Kashu, Mehes, Hu, and the protector of the boat. This great god journeyeth in this city in the path of the circle of Sar, Osiris, by means of the utterances of the words of power of Isis, and of the words of power of Ser, so that he may journey on his way against Nehara. If these words of power of Isis, and those of Ser be uttered, Apep shall be turned back, and shall be shut up in Ament, in the hidden place of the Tuat. If they be uttered on the earth it shall be so likewise. Whosoever shall utter them shall become one of those who are in the boat of Ra, both in heaven and upon earth. But whosoever knoweth not these figures shall not know how to repulse Nehara. He who is in this picture is a Pep, and he surroundeth his country, which is in the Tuat. Chow is the name of this district, which is 440 cubits in length, and 440 cubits in breadth, and his voice guideth the gods to him. He who is with him after this great god hath made his passage through this city, halteth with Aphew, opposite to the country whereover he would make a way. Behold, Circuit is at the head of a pep, and Hertesuef places his deadly fetter about his feet after Isis hath taken possession of the words of power of Seraph twofold strength, and Ra, giveth their words of power. Whosoever knoweth it, i.e., this picture, and the text, upon earth shall not be one of those of whose water Nehara drinketh. The goddesses who hath it a pep in the to it, who repulse, or, bring to naught, the affairs, or, matters, of the enemies of Ra. Those who are in this picture, and who hold knives, hack asunder a pep in the to it each day. These are the, hidden magical figures of the to it, the funeral shrines of the hidden heads. When, those who reach this region, come there, the hidden heads, appear, and when they have heard the voice of Ra, they eat their own forms, after this great god hath passed them by. The Hidden Road of Ament The great god makes his way over it in his holy boat, and he passes over this road which has no water, and none to tow. He makes his way by means of the words of power of Isis, and by means of the words of power of Semsu, and the utterances of this great god himself, act as, magical protectors, and perform the slaughters of a pep in the Tuat, in this circle in his windings in the sky. Whosoever shall make, a copy of, these, pictures, according to the similitudes which are in writing at the northern side of the hidden palace in the Tuat they shall act for him that makes them as magical protectors in heaven and in earth. Whosoever knoweth them shall be as the spirits, spirits with Ra. The majesty of this great and holy god Seth, grant thou me to come forth on the path by thy spittle, and by thy throat, and let me utter the word which is mot to Ankhit, and let me open thy fold, for I have come to illumine the darkness, and to embrace him that is in Mehen. This god saith unto Osiris, who dwelleth in the serpent Mehen, Hail, Osiris, governor of the Tuat, thou lord of life, thou ruler of Amentet, thou shalt live thy life, thou hast magical power, and shalt prevail by magical power in this land. Thou dost exalt those who are in thy following on their arrival before thee. Thine enemies are beneath thy feet, thou hast gained the mastery over those who have worked against thee. The flames of fire are against them, he burneth them up with his blazing knife, which is over them, he hacketh them in pieces, and choppeth them up with his slaughtering knife, and he reckoneth up his members each day. 
Oh, let me pass over thee in peace. The majesty of this god Seth, O ye spirits who are hostile to Osiris, who have rebelled against the governor of the Tuat, your hands and arms are fettered, and ye are tied tightly with bonds, and your souls are kept under ward, and your shades are hacked in pieces. Anka hath drawn the cords about you so tightly that ye shall never be able to escape from his restraint. The work of this figure who is in this picture is in the Tuat, and it is for him to send the stars on their way, and to make the hours to go on their way in the Tuat. Tuat. The majesty of Horus of the Tuat saith unto the starry gods, O ye who are mod in your flesh, whose magical powers have come into being for you, who are united unto your stars, and who yourselves rise up for Ra in the horizon, which is in the Tuat each day, O be ye in his following, and let your stars guide his two hands so that he may journey through the beautiful Ament in peace. And, O ye gods who stand up, who dwell in our land, light up ye your stars in the sky so that, I, may unite, myself, with the master of the horizon. The majesty of Herituadi saith unto the hours who are in this city, O ye hours who have the power of coming into being, O ye hours who are endowed with stars, O ye hours who avenge Ra, fight ye on behalf of him that is on the horizon, and take ye your forms, or, attributes, and carry ye your symbols, and lift ye up your heads and guide this, God, Ra, who is on the horizon, into the beautiful Amentet in peace. Behold the gods and goddesses who guide this great god along the hidden way of this city. He who is in this picture is Abshau, and he is the warden of the symbols of this city. When he heareth the voice of the boat of Ra which is addressed to the eye which is in his cheek, the head which is in his dominion makes its appearance, and then it eats its own form after this great god hath passed it by. Whosoever knoweth this picture, Abshau shall not devour his soul. The majesty of this great god taketh up its place in the circles of the hidden gods who are on their sand, and he addresseth to them words in his boat whilst the gods tow him along through the city by means of the magical powers of the serpent Mehen. The name of the gate of this city is Aha and Ert Nef. The name of this city is Tebet Neteru S. The name of the hour of the night which guideth this great god is Net Usha. Usha. The hidden circles of Ament, which are passed through by the great god, his boat being towed along by the gods who dwell in the Tuat, let them be made according to the figures, which are depicted, on the north of the hidden palace in the Tuat. Whosoever knoweth them by their names shall be the possessor of swathings upon earth, and he shall not be repulsed at the hidden gates, and he shall have offerings in very great abundance regularly and perpetually. This god makes his way into this city, being towed along by the gods of the Tuat, in his hidden form of Mehen. This god sendeth forth a cry to the regions of every circle of this city, and also to the gods who are therein, and it is the voice of them which this god heareth after he hath sent forth a cry to them. The figures of their bodies remain always with their dead bodies, which are under their sand, and their gates open to the voice of this god each day and then they hide themselves after he hath passed by them. Their work in the Tuat is to tow Ra along over the ways of this city, and they rise up after they have towed him along into this hall, and they say unto him, O thou God, come thou to thine hidden image, O our God, and to all the sepulchres of Kentiamenti, unite thyself strongly to it, and mayest thou be entreated to lighten the darkness of those who are on their sands. We beseech thee to come and to unite thyself, O Ra, to those who tow thee along. These are the gods of the Tuat who tow alone, Ra in the place where the gods have their sepulchres, Tebet Neter set, and he is, acclaimed, by those who are in this city. The images secret of Tafanin, of Horus, and of, the gods are with them. Those, those who are in this picture are those who are on the path along which this god is towed and they have their swathings before them in the form in which the god himself had them. This our great god cries out unto those who have their life in them, in, their, heads in their forms, and this god cries out to them by their names. Their work is to seize the enemies of Ra everywhere throughout the city, 
and then to make their heads to pass under their swords after this god hath passed them by. Those who are in this picture in the tuet, with their swathings of linen in front of them, in the form in which the god himself had them, are they to whom he cries out after he hath come to the place where they are. And they on their part cry out to this god with their voices which are joyful but hidden, and this god sings a psalm of joy at their voices. After this great god hath passed by them, and when the darkness of night hath covered them over, they receive the diadems of Ra, and the soul of Tafanin unites itself to the earth. Those who are in this picture are, seated, on their instruments for weaving, after the manner, of Horus, the heir, the youthful one. This god cries out to their souls after he hath entered into the city of the gods who are on their sand, and there are heard the voices of, those who are, shed in this circle which are like, the hum, of many bees of honey, when their souls cry out to Ra, the name of this circle is Sashida. Those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there are heard the voices of, those who are, shut in this circle which are like the sound of the swathed ones, when, their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle, circle is to it. Those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which horns made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there is heard the sound of the voices of, those who are, shut in this circle, which is like unto the sound of men who lament, when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Isneteru. Those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which horns made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the sounds of bulls, and of other male animals when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Akibi. Those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut of this circle, which is like unto the sound of those who make supplication through terror when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Net Simi Nifu. Those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus, the heir, the young god, made. This great god cries out to their souls after he hath entered into this city of the gods who are upon their sand, and when this god cries out to them in the two eternity there is heard the sound of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the voices of male cats, when they cry out, and their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Hedipit Nebes. Those, those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls, in whatsoever regions they are in the two eternity, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the sound of the confused murmur of the living when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Hednet Kimio. Those who are in this picture have their instruments for weaving before them, and they are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls, in whatsoever regions they are in the two eternity, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the sound of the voices of those who go down to the battlefield of Nu when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Hapsimu S. Those who are in this picture have their instruments of weaving before them, and they are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which horns made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are in the two eternity, and there is heard the sound of voices of those who are shut in this circle, 
which is like unto the sound of the cry of the divine hawk of horns when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Sehurt by S. Those who are in this picture are, seated, on their instruments of weaving, and they are set firmly on their sand. This god cries out to them in whatsoever regions they are, and they shed light by means of their radiance, which cometh, from the depth of their mouths, but they do not come forth from their circle, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shed in this circle, which is like unto the twittering of the whole of the birds of a nest of waterfowl when they cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is A.T. Sedaka. This great god taketh up his place in this circle, and he addresseth words from his boat to those who are in it. The divine sailors join the boat of this great god in this city. The name of the gate of this city through which this god entereth, and taketh up his place on the stream, which is in this city is Sa'em Keb. The name of this city is Bastaru Anket Keperu. The name of the hour of the night, which guideth this great god is to Atet Make Tet and Neveb S. The hidden circle of Amentet, through which this great god traveleth, and taketh up his place in the Tuat. If these things be made with their names after the manner of this figure, which is depicted at the east of the hidden house of the Tuat, and if a man knoweth their names whilst he is upon earth, and knoweth their places in Amenti, he shall attain to his own place in the Tuat, and he shall stand up in all places which belong to the gods whose voices, or words, are mot, even as the divine sovereign chiefs, Chacha of Ra, and the mighty ones of the palace, pharaohs, and this knowledge, shall be of benefit to him upon earth. This great god joineth those who will transport him through this city, and his sailors join his boat wherein he is in his hidden form of Mehen. This great god addresseth words to the gods who dwell in this city, that is to say, to the gods who are the sailors of the boat of Ra, and to those who will transport him through the horizon, so that he may take up his position in the eastern hall of heaven. Their work in the Tuat is to transport Ra through this city every day, and they take their stand by the stream in the city whereon, saileth, the boat, and it is they who give water with their paddles to the spirits who are in this city, and they sing hymns to the Lord of the Disc, and they make to arise, his, soul in his forms by means of their hidden words every day. Though, those who are in this picture in this city, are they who give offerings of food to the gods who are in the Tuat. Ra decreeth for them loaves of bread and vessels of beer, and the gods journey on in the following of this great god to the eastern horizon of the sky, with Hetep Nederu to it, also, following him. Those who are in this picture in the Tuat are seated firmly on their instruments for weaving, and they are in the form of the figures which Horus made. Ra saith to them, O ye who are swathed in your holy swathings, who are arrayed in your garments, whom Horus covered up when he hid his father in the Tuat, which concealeth the gods, uncover ye your heads, O ye gods, unveil ye your faces, and perform ye the things which must be done for Osiris. Ascribe ye praise to the Lord of Amentet, and make ye your word mod against his enemies every day. These beings are the Chacha, i.e., divine sovereign chiefs, of this god, and they avenge by their words Osiris each day and the work which they do in the Tuat is to overthrow the enemies of Osiris. Those who are in this picture with their bodies of the Tuat are they who are in the forms which Horus made. This great god cries out to them after he hath arrived at the place where they are, and they come to life and they hear his voice. Their work in the Tuat is to raise the praises of Osiris, and to embrace the hidden soul by means of their words, and to bring life and strength to the risings of the god of the Tuat, in whatsoever regions they are, and they utter words on his behalf in the chamber each day. The names of the Uriai who kindle fires for the god, who is the governor of the Tuat, by means of the fire which is in their mouths. They swallow their flames after this god hath passed by them. Those who are in this picture are in the Tuat, and they have bodies of fire, and it is they who lighten the darkness in the Tuat for Osiris, by means of the flames of fire which come forth from their mouths, and it is they who bring about the destruction of those who are overthrown in the Tuat. 
It is they who drive back the serpents of every kind which are on the ground, and which are unknown in their forms to the god of the Tuat. They make themselves to live by means of the blood of those whom they hack to pieces each day, when those advance who endow with magical power the dead by the mystery of their formulae. Those who know this shall see their magical formulae, and shall not pass through their flames. Watch us on YouTube and Facebook at The Strange, Bizarre, Unusual, I Like It. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor. Breaker. Google Podcasts. Overcast. Pocket Casts. Radio Public. Spotify. Support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.